so there's going to be problems again with this movement as well, right? In this position where I'm able to execute the sweep the first way from the half guard, that's usually when your partner isn't driving weight back into you. But there's going to be times where your partner is going to resist because they already feel what you're trying to do. In that situation, you want a slightly different outcome. So we're going to start again in the half guard position. I'm already set up. And I'm going to go ahead and swing. And I'm ready to try and drive across. But in this position, Stefan can feel my momentum driving this way. So he's a little bit more hip to that, and he's going to start driving his weight back into me. Now, when he starts driving his weight back into me, if I just try and stand here and resist it, I'm going to get crushed. So the idea here is that this hand that I'm posting on, I'm going to go ahead and dive right back under, and I'm going to grab his ankle. When I do that, I'm going to use his momentum that's driving into me to take him to the other side. The really nice thing about this is, again, he's a much larger person than me, so you might think that he might stop and stagnate his weight as I try to take him through. But I'm using Stefan's own momentum and energy against him. And this is something that you should really learn how to do, is manipulate your partner's energy. It's a great way to execute really good sweeps, get submissions, and move around your partner. And if you're a bigger guy who's got his hands on this DVD, first of all, you should burn it. <laughs> Second of all, know that this is one of my very favorite sweeps and that when you do it when you do it incorrectly with the incorrect timing or incorrect energy you can't do it it's it's trying to move a huge weight across your body but when you get the timing right and the energy right it feels effortless and it's 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 a fantastic feeling right so, so just from a different angle we'll look at it again so we're going to go right into this half guard position I'm out on the side I kick I kick I'm looking to drive and Stefan resists. I dive under and I go over. All right, so I just want to go over some hand details here. When I go ahead and I shoot under and then I come up and I want to go and grab underneath again. Notice I'm posted on my elbow. When I dive under, I want to make sure that I shoot pretty deep and that this hand reaches in and grabs around my partner's ankle. Okay, so I'm really underneath my partner now, okay? But again, this is not stagnant weight, this is using their momentum. Just to explain the detail again, from here I'm on my elbow and then I'm gonna shoot really deep so that my hips are trapping his hips as well. Also, from the back side, let's just show this as well. We went from holding this to now diving deep and trapping around the hip. So make sure that you go from the foot and release when this gets deep to trap around the hip, okay? So one more time. We went from here where I'm trapping, I'm doing the first sweep. He's pushing back, so I'm gonna dive under, and once I dive under, I can release this foot and grab around the hip to take him over. This is really important when we're thinking about space management. If you notice, my hips get very close to Stefan's and I get very tight. I don't want to have a situation where there's too much gap, too much space between his body and mine because this is all built upon momentum and I want to flow off of what he's giving me. So keep that in mind as you move around. Sometimes you need to keep your distance, other times you need to be really, really close. <laughs>